Hi everyone, welcome to Asapuru YouTube channel. Today I will give you a short introduction of Dexilent. Dexilent or Power Factory is easy to use and is compatible with all Windows and also can be integrated with other packages to meet the requirement of all Power System Analysis application. Dexilent is one of the great software which providing engineering services in the field of electrical power system for transmission, distribution, generation, and industrial plants. Actually, it covers the full range of functionalities from standard features to highly sophisticated and advanced applications, such as wind power, distributed generation, real-time simulation, on performance monitoring for system testing and supervision. To open the Dexilent Power Factory, it is enough to double click on its icon, or you can left click here on its icon, which is in the task bar. That is how you enter to the Dexilent page. The first warning that appears here is the backup workspace. The backup appears because the Dexilent software is based on database. Any change you bring in the Dexilent will save to this database automatically. When you exit the software, all your work will save. In the Dexilent, there is no option for save, so it is highly recommended to create daily backups of the workspace. Create a backup so you can save it to any directory that you want the naming process is as following starting from year month day and the hour that you want to take the backup then click save as you can see on the left down corner the workspace is exporting to our directory then click ok the next window that you see here is represents examples for example in low voltage distribution network you see some examples which are explained by videos and also as documents by clicking on this button you can import and activate example project close the window now to enter into software the silent software environment includes several general parts the menu that you see on the top is the main menu of Dexilent. The lower tab is actually the main tab of the Dexilent software that most of them are not active now. To activate them, we should define a new project from file. In the next video, I will explain more about the project definition and how to work and analyze it. Now, Mostly all the icons are activated. These are all Im the important and necessary icons that we can use them for analyzing of power system network. Due to numerous case studies, there is a button which is named as change toolbox. From here you can use different analyses. By changing each of the analyses, the icon here will change accordingly. This tab is actually the graphic icon. By using them, we can zoom in, selecting voltage or phase type, and doing any other graphical works on our diagram network system. The big white window that you see here is the plus, where we can draw the diagram of power network system. The portion in the right side are all the toolboxes that are used for drawing of power network system for example there are different elements such as base bar external grids general load and the others the lower white window is the exit window and it is right side is the control element for this exit window there is one more additional window in the left side this actually works as a small data manager and represent the construction of a project as shortly. Let's open 
an example of textiling to get more familiar with these icons. From file, click on examples and click on additional examples. Let's choose a 14 bus system, then import and activate the example project from here. This is a diagram of 14 bus system. The first icon that you see here is data manager. With that, we can access to the project, open and access into all study cases and bring change on them. By clicking on plus sign here allows us to access more into a structure of the projects. The second icon that you see here is edit relevant object for calculation that consists of bus bar, grid, general load, and other equipment tools that we have in our power system network. Each of these icons include many other same family list of icons which are used in a project. For example, if we open bus bar, you will see all the bus bars which are used in this 14 bus system. That is all for today. In the next video, I will explain more about the silent. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.